Hello, Meg Miller, Adult Services Librarian at the Pflugerville Public Library. And during this time of library closure and program postponements and cancellations, we've been bringing you additional content to hopefully help you pass the time while you've been at home. Uh, so I've actually got some crafts that folks will be able to do, hopefully with stuff they can find right around the house. Uh, Crafty Cafe is a program that we do on the third Sunday of every month at 2 p.m. Um, anyone 12 and up is welcome to attend. We have a craft and there is a Keurig uh, for beverages to make it a cafe. So for these purposes, you'll have to provide your own beverage, but we're hoping to provide everyone with some crafty at home cafe. Uh, so we've got some crafts for you to try and hopefully have the things around the house. This is one that I love, um, this craft, because it reuses um, old t-shirts. So this is a no-sew t-shirt tote bag. I'm sure a lot of us are going through all of our closets right now. You might have that old t-shirt that you love so much. I'm so street. Um, but it had a bunch of holes in it in certain places. Um, so I've turned it into a tote bag. If there's a design on your t-shirt, it's going to dictate how much room you have for um, making the fringe that you need to tie on the bottom. Um, so this one here has kind of a long design. Um, this other shirt I have is a much shorter design, uh, so I have a lot more to work with. It just depends on the size of the tote that you want to make. Um, I definitely want to do this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is make sure that the ends of my shirt are matching up and if you want to go the extra extra mile you can definitely iron your t-shirt material make sure you guys can see the bottom of the t-shirt um, because I'm going to be cutting through both pieces of the material both sides and I want to cut about um, three quarter inch maybe half inch um, fringe across the bottom and so I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing that. Hopefully some of you have fabric scissors around. Um, if you have had any family member who is a sewer, you know very well that fabric scissors are only used on fabric and not any other material, and that makes it so that they cut a little bit better. My fringe is gonna be pretty wonky because I don't actually have any fabric scissors here at the house. Um, and because this will actually be inside out when you tie it, um, your fringe doesn't have to be perfection or beautiful. I'm just going to continue making sure that I'm cutting through both of the sides of the material so that I'm getting two um, strips there that I'll be able to tie together. And then I'm coming up about the same length on the t-shirt. Those perfectionists out there, you can definitely measure across. Um, if you don't have a uh, fabric pencil, you can always use chalk to mark the line um, so that you know that you're getting the exact same. Some of these look a little shorter, so I'll make them a little longer. Come back here and to the end. And so now that the bottom of our shirt is all fringed out, I'm going to go ahead and turn it inside out. There we are. Now that I have my shirt inside out and each one of my pieces of fringe matched up so that there are two, um, my next step is to tie them together in a knot, each one all the way across the bottom of the shirt. Um, and a lot of folks will realize right off the bat that just tying one simple um, knot in the bottom of these will not create a solid base for what you want to put in your bag. There would be a number of holes. So there is actually a second step to tying. So these, I'm just doing an over under basic kind of half knot to each piece of, and you'll see that my bag is actually getting um, smaller across as I pull the material together. And then I'm going to get just the last couple tied together here. 
and we'll move on to the second knot. Okay, final knot here. And so I've got my bag knotted across the bottom, but you'll see right there are some holes in between. Um, so we're actually going to start with the first two knots here. Well, the first, let's start with the first three. One, two, and three. I have the tails for each one. So I'm gonna take one tail from the first knot and one tail from the second knot, and I'm going to actually knot those two together. And this time I am going to do the second, just. And so I have one left here from this second knot. I'm going to find knot number three here, and I'm going to take this little extra guy and tie him to the next one. And as you may realize, so on and so forth. Here's my extra guy, here's my next knot, and tie him together there. And then here's my extra guy side of my next knot. There's the other side of my next knot and tie them together. All right with them double knotted all the way across we do these last few and second there's another piece and one piece of the last one and you guys may have realized that that leaves me with one additional um, piece on either end. Um, and just to secure that, I do actually knot it to one of the pieces next to it, just to kind of close that. Any edge gap there might be, do that on both sides. Knots and knots. All right, and with t-shirt material, as it gets used, these knots will tighten up and um, they'll actually hold a lot better. So, got the bottom of my bag ready to go, and I can kind of tug on that to get that there. But what I need is the handles to my bag. So, make sure that the top of my shirt is together. Pull off the straight hairs. Um, and so to create the handles, I'm just going to cut along the seam. I actually want to um, keep this seam, so I'm going to cut on the inside. Um, this will strengthen your handles if you keep the seam. Um, on my original, um, I didn't, and you can see that it actually, these handles are probably a little less sturdy than these will be. And of course, the shape of the sleeve on whatever shirt that you're using is going to dictate the shape of your handle to a certain extent. Those of you with sewing machines at home, you can always, um, heck, add a liner to this um, so that you don't even see the knots on the inside, on the bottom. Um, you can add to the sleeve or the handle, I guess, as you might want. And so this shirt had a pretty small neckline um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut down, but again, this shirt had a really big design on it, so I don't want to lose the design itself. Um, so I'm going to give myself about an inch width of handle here, and then I am just going to eyeball it cut here around the design. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and Eyeball myself about another inch again, and then come around. All right. Pull that neck away, and now I have a brand new 10th Doctor tote. And I don't have to say goodbye to the shirt that I loved so much. Hope you enjoy.